Hey, it's Kamari, and today we're going to be making Cruel's neck piece. So I started by making a pattern out of paper, and then used that to cut two pieces out of white satin. To make the loops for the ribbon to go through, I cut four rectangles out of white satin, then putting right sides together, fold them in half, and we're going to sew them together along the sides. Turn the tubes right side out, then pin them in place onto the collar, and we're going to sew them in place along the tops and along the bottoms. Next, cut two rectangles out of the white satin to create the ruffles along the top and along the bottom of the collar piece. Then we're going to put right sides together and sew them together along the ends. Turn the rectangles right side out, then putting wrong sides together, fold the rectangle in half and baste it together along the side. Gather the ruffles and putting right sides together, attach them to the top and bottom of the collar. Putting right sides together, sew the back of the collar onto the front all the way around the edges, leaving a space open so that it can be turned right side out. Turn the collar right side out and top stitch all around the edges to keep the ruffles in place. Since Cruel is a queen, I hand sewed some large lace along at the bottom and some smaller lace along the top of the collar piece just to give it a little bit more richness and a little bit more detail. Sew a piece of red ribbon onto the left side of the collar piece and then thread it through all of the loops that we made earlier on. Sew some hook and eye closures into the center of the collar to hold it shut. Then I cut another length of the red ribbon, finished the edges with some clear nail polish to keep them from fraying, and sewed them onto the collar. To make the bow on Cruel's collar, we're going to start with a rectangle of fabric, then going to fold it in half and sew it along the long side. Turn the base bow piece right side out and zigzag along the edges, then we're going to fold it in half and sew along the side. Turn the base bow piece right side out and we're going to squish it down to make it a bow shape. Sew it onto one of the ribbons and wrap a little bit of ribbon around the center to create a knot. Then we're going to sew a snap onto the underside of the bow and sew a matching piece to the near where the uh, tails of the ribbon attach to the collar. Now Cruel has a button that uh, goes on top of her bow and I ended up using a bat charm that I got from Michaels because I felt like it fit the vampire theme. It was, as you can see from the back, a dark metal so I dry brushed it with a little bit of gold paint and added some nail polish in the center to give it a little bit more dimension. Now we're just going to sew it onto the bow. And with that, Cruel's collar is done. For more cosplay sewing videos, please subscribe and thank you very much for watching.